Dream Ranch uh, this year, a little different format, and uh, we um, were invited by the uh, folks at Dream Ranch this year to bring up uh, all members of the show that wanted to come and uh, and us kind of spend the weekend together. We uh, we did have uh, one of our um, you know friends that's a, that's a great client up there at Dream Ranch that comes um, uh, every year, and he he had already had arrangements to come there. On the weekend we were there, which was great to hang out with uh, with Bill Scott and his daughter this time. He, they, we, yeah. His sons have been there. We've, and he got some good pictures, too, by the way, that Helms is putting up. He's got those. We tried to keep you updated over the weekend. And then we had uh, a father and son that actually got an opportunity to be with us after donating the most money to um, uh, 18 Ministries, which uh, cares for families. You know the, the, how hard it is. Can we say his name, Rick? Yeah. Yeah, uh, it, Dr. It, Greg Champion. Yeah, Greg Champion, his son. So uh, nice Luke. to meet him. Very and nice. Very we all, nice. We all go to church together, I, and I didn't even know that it was Greg until he showed up with his son. Yeah. Uh, but they donated to this ministry. You know, you know how hard it is anytime you have someone who's going through cancer treatments, and this focuses on children that have mm-hmm. childhood cancer. And 18 Ministries, they they provide like a, you know housing <laughs> and, and and take care of families when they've got a child you know and in, in going through cancer treatment. So, uh, so anyway, um, kind of being the hands and feet of Jesus there, and uh, Greg and, and had donated the, the most money, and so he also got to come and hunt with us. But the rest of it, uh, it was just the guys from the show, uh, Speedy and, and his boys, Bubba and his children, uh, me and two of my boys. Uh, well, Bubba, and, I mean, Speedy and two of his two, Tyler was not there. Or some of the older kids couldn't make it. Uh, Helmsy brought Braden, so he brought one of his, and uh, and then, uh, <laughs> then and then we had all of our son, all of our child, all, all of our, uh, that one child that we all – Share uh, that's Adler. Uh, <laughs> uh, he was he was there uh, trying to get his first buck. So we had Braden uh, Helmsy Sons going after his first buck ever. We had Reese has already killed a buck though, mm-hmm. but Re- Reese Reese was was going. Uh, then we had uh, Adler trying for his first buck. Uh, Luke Champion uh, Ooh, that's try, cool. trying slow for, mo fire I trying like for his first buck. And I'll kind of take you through the the progression hmm. of the weekend. But when when we were going there, each individual family. Uh, to kind of tell you how it works, I mean, it has to decide, you know, how it's going to work out because, you know, this is a place, place where you go to pay to hunt, and That's they're right. allowing us to come there, you know, for free and, and, and kind of have a weekend. But they say there's this is we can only harvest this many deer. Right. So basically each family was, assi- was assigned, and then other than Coach, who always <laughs> is on the board. But everybody else had to decide. And in, in our family, you know, my Brooks, the 15-year-old, had killed a really big deer there last year. So his brother was going to have the opportunity. This is how it started now. Yeah. And uh, and then of course uh, I like like Bubba, Bubba both Bubba's kids had taken great deer there so Bubba was going to get an opportunity Bubba and I have never I don't know any of us any of the adults have ever killed a deer at Dream Ranch no I never because every time we've gone there it's been for our kids every right. time right so we've never killed a deer at Dream Ranch so and I and we'll we'll get into the more aspects of that but but uh, right out of the gate Helmsy goes up early he he's a, he's the only one that has a kid young enough that he can shake him out of school and not be a, everybody have a, a well break. I got some looks too. But uh, so ah. you arrived there early, and so as we're driving up there, you're hunting. I am. You take Big Braden out there, and tell you what, it pays off to go early. Yeah, it does. You said yeah. it would. I, yeah, it always has. Fridays have it always, always been golden. Bubba's delivered on a golden. Friday with one of his kids. Golden. My dad, you, my dad usually has you know killed two or three deer before we get there. <laughs> uh, but anyway, he had to work this time. You well, know, I, I've never seen him in and out. I mean, yeah, he was quick. he was like a, a stealth attack. Came in late, killed out. <laughs> We'll talk about that too. There's we got more stories, so we're going chronological. So here's him. Well, here's what's funny is all week I had built it up to Braden. I said, "Look, here's the deal. You're shoot. Uh, I'm shooting a deer. You're going hanging out with all the kids. We don't get the families together. This is one of the only opportunities we'll ever get to hang out. Reese is going. Him and Reese are buddies. And he said, "Look, he said I, I, I'm fine. I'm fine with that. Well, then about the second day, he said, "Dad, I, I don't know if I want to go anymore. And I said, "Why? I said, "Because he said because I can't shoot. You're not going to let me shoot." And I said, well, and I used it all week as a teaching moment to say, hey, sometimes we just don't get to do what we're going to. And I knew the whole time what was going to happen. And I didn't even tell y'all. I yeah. just kind of I kind of stuck to my guns. But when we got to uh, the shooting house, we'd been sitting there about 30 minutes. And I said, hey, I said, uh, I still hadn't told him. And I said, hey, if we get a chance, Big Buck walks out this afternoon. I said, I'm going to let you shoot it. And he said, huh? Are you serious? And I said, yeah. And he said, well, I don't have – and he looked, and he's like, oh, you have my gun. He didn't even realize that I had his gun and that kind of thing. And so it just – wow, what an encounter. Um, You know, you have those moments where it happens so quickly that you don't have time to think. You don't have time to get nervous. You just find it in the scope and fire away. This was not one of those times. This was a 15, 20-minute ordeal from the time the buck uh, stepped out until he took the shot. 
and I mean nerve wracking as can be. Of course, he's. A, I will say this, and my dad's not a hunter, so I didn't start hunting until I was nineteen. I killed my first deer when I was nineteen years old, and a college buddy took me. Yeah, and so. I didn't know what it, I mean. I was nineteen. I I didn't know what anybody's reaction was as a nine year old, and and those type of things. And so, I will tell you, I've never from from the time we had Braden till now nine years, I've never seen him more nervous, more excited, <laughs> oh, yeah. and more happy about anything in his entire life. I think people miss that when you yeah. have when a lot of people have vision of hunting, you don't understand what what opportunities are there for for families. That's right. And dads and their children that, that that it's unique. You think you say, well, I get that out of coaching their little league team, and that's great. That that really can be a great yeah. thing. Or I get that out of this and that. There's something about this that I, you can't really. Describe. Well, and I've done. I, see, that's the thing is I've done all that. Yeah. There's no there's no play at shortstop or second base that even comes close to topping this. I'm right. sorry, and I didn't know. I di- I didn't know what I would feel because I haven't experienced it. I've heard everybody else talk about it, yeah. but I've never experienced it. Mm-hmm. And I got to tell you, as a father of this nine year old. I couldn't have been more. Pr- I mean, you talk about those markers in life. Yeah. Goodness gracious, this is one of them. I'm, I'm mad. My wife's not. She's not into hunting. She don't necessarily like that we do it. She gets that we want to do it, and why? But she don't necessarily. It ain't her thing. But I, if I could go back, I'd have had her in that shooting house because she will never realize what took place. I've. It, I get chilled and teary eyed thinking about it. But yeah. to for a nine year old to sit there and make the decision. And it was 15 minutes. The deer's running. I mean, talk about an encounter. 15 minutes of coming closer and closer and wouldn't turn in broadside for us to take the shot. Kept cut. And so you have a nine-year-old looking in a scope at a deer, big horns that are that's coming towards him, towards him, towards him, and won't turn, and then eventually does, and, and he makes it happen. And I, I thought, you don't know. You give them that responsibility to pull the trigger, find it in the scope. You can tell them everything, but at the end of the day, you don't know what he's looking at in the scope. You don't know. Yep. And he, my I don't fa- know why. I, I don't know why I doubted him. I really this don't. This is such a touching moment. It's about time for Greg to interrupt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. Look at that. I, I let fa- him go this time. Helmsy, my favorite is when you go, hey, do you got it? I think so. Yeah. You, you think so? <laughs> when it when it got go time, at? when it got go time, he would this this deer was this buck was actually chasing does that were on the right side of us, and so I was sitting kind of in front of him, sitting down. He was standing up, which that was another thing. See, this whole time from the time he was four to now, we've been practicing with him sitting in my lap. Yeah, this and so we had to make an adjustment, and he made the decision. I said, "Do you want me to move and sit in the lap, or do you want to?" Stand up. He said, I want to stand up. And I thought, mm, that's mm. not good. That he's wanting to stand up. <laughs> so, because we hadn't practiced that. Yeah. And so, uh, but I, I told him, I said, uh, I said, hey, he's about to turn. Because Paul Moultrie, by the way, I love the fact that he is a friend of the show. And Greg and him's hung out on some Paul. hunts before. Yeah. Got a and, funny story on Paul. And on Paul, <laughs> Paul was actually with us in the shooting house <laughs> and and helped guide. And, Has Paul and ever I had any so mud, mud driving uh, instructions, you know? <laughs> Did you get stuck, too? <laughs> Um, well, we're all <laughs> we stuck. We didn't so, a but oh, no. let me tell you, I was so glad that he was there and got to experience it too. But, but I told Braden, I said, uh, I said, Hey, he's about to turn. I said, those does are walking out of the field and he's not going to stick around if they're not out. So he's about to turn. And at this point, the deer is 50 yards from us and we can't tell if he's looking at us. So we're having to be real still or the, or the does by the time the does walk out, go back into the woods. And I said, Braden, he's about to turn. I said, I'm taking the safety off. And about that time he turned. And I took the safety off, and I said, you got him? He said, yes, sir. I said, shoot. I said, can I shoot? I said, Braden, have you got him? Where, where are you? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. We'll shoot. Can I shoot? And I said, I said, Braden. I said, Braden. Then you Braden, start screaming at sque- him. Squeeze the trigger. Just gently. If you're on him, squeeze the trigger. And he is bri- – he got to laughing. He was so nervous. He kind of chuckled he got and had to back off. And and uh, then I thought, okay, we've messed it's up. It's over now. It's over. He's not going – I said, Braden, he's not going to stand there any longer. Get frustrated. Bust him. And all of a sudden, he squeezed it off, and he couldn't hit him any better. It was yeah, a great hammered shot. down. So. Great well, it was so funny because then we get to have fun because I was, I, was, I was asking Hamzy how nervous he was, and Hamzy said he was shaking like a leaf. Oh, yeah. Thing you do. Gosh, I, every time it's like that. And uh, as soon as I saw him, everybody was talking about they was going we was going to put blood on his face, or whatever. And I said, "Well, now look, now my people, we eat the heart." <laughs> and I said, "Let's go and get that heart out for 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 Braden." He was like, he was looking at me like, <laughs> you know, hey, <laughs> <"Hey, laughs> <"Hey, laughs> <"Hey, laughs> <"Hey, laughs> sure. <laughs>
on the Dream Ranch hunt this uh, past uh, weekend. And, uh, you know, great opportunities there as we have always had so many great memories over the years. Uh, we got the show notes, dreamranch.org. You can see their facilities, unbelievable. Uh, you know, they don't have, the, the deer hunting's all booked up for uh, the year. I mean, they, they would only be entertaining things for next season. But uh, corporate, uh, it's a great, it's, you know, you look at it, we kind of did that. I mean, it's like Rick and Bubba Inc., a little corporate weekend yeah. with our families there at Dream Ranch. Man, it's a great idea if you've ever thought about that, to, to have a corporate getaway. They can do quail hunts and duck hunts, and obviously n- not right now. There's there's not any deer hunts left, but there is some for next year. But there's still some quail hunts and stuff like that. If you want to do their quail hunting facilities, is, is unbelievable. Yeah, we saw a bunch of guys it, coming in. You some of them. Yeah, so uh, go to uh, go to uh, DreamRanch.org if you need to find out more information about that. And we just I tell you, I could I could just sit on the porch and look over the valley. Oh, it would be good with me, and as long as Alan was cooking back there. Well, yes. we talked about that because there's only, there was only so many deer we thought to be to be harvested uh, if we could if we could be successful. And so, really, I mean, I know same thing with your kids and one of mine, uh, Brooks. They were like, and and Braden after he tagged out, and and they and Reese after he tagged out, uh, Sport Speedy's boy. They really had it just like, hey, they're fine. It's oh, not, yeah. it's yeah. not like that's kind of like, oh well, I guess the fun's over. I mean, they're them uh, being together. Oh, my that, two that prefer long. that. Yeah, you know, uh, it, a lot less cold. It, it, look, they're watching football, playing pool, hanging around. You know, they it, they were they had a blast, like being at a, at a resort. Or Hide something. and go seek, I think, was the biggest draw for all of it them. Was. It, to see kids ages nine to sixteen yeah. all playing, a bunch of them playing yeah. hide and go seek yep. at that lodge. That was, so yeah. many places to hide. A lot of places to hide. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and, Rick, and of course, uh, the the cook Alan is uh, the food is oh, unbelievable. Kathy, boy, Kathy that runs everything, takes care keeps of it us. Up. Great people. Yeah, they yeah. do a great job. Uh, I, I want to give Ham's props too for being the the fireplace guy this weekend. He yeah, did a great yeah. job. You, you, nice work. Now, with now the I'm fire. lazy. Nice work with the fire. I, I'm lazy and I'll do gas. You know because I you know I want to flip a button and have heat. I, you yeah. know sometimes, but I'm gonna tell you, there's nothing better than just a good old wood burning fireplace. Look at look at, look at Ham's go. Yeah, and and I Helms, take pride in it. Helms took it on himself to be the fire guy this weekend to keep the fire going. And you did and well done, uh, buddy. And you you keep did you worked burning. it good. You, you know, and Hunter, good. I taught Hunter a lot about the fire because Hunter's yeah. like, "How are you getting it going like that?" And I said, "Hang with me this weekend. I, you'll have, yeah. you'll be able to impress your dad." Yeah. Now, you, now you had a. I tell you the secrets to get air underneath it. That's it. That's it. It's that all true. about the air. You know, like yeah. hunting is all about the wind. Yeah. It's, yep. it's very similar with you got to have ventilation. You got to have ventilation. That's what we're burning is oxygen. So much to cover so reese wilburn and 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 eddie van adler tag out on the same day mm-hmm. now you you sat down and talked to the boss quite a bit over the weekend i heard a little bit of that on, i heard about it on the kickoff hour yeah you yeah. got to have a q a with one reese the boss wilburn well I, yeah we had uh oh, sunday boy. morning uh we had a nice breakfast me and reese and Braden and hunter uh bussy bubba's son that's back when you thought you were leaving that afternoon. i was I, at that point in time i was scheduled we'll to, to leave later. at 11 30 or 12 and so i just thought you know what i've i've heard about i've heard reese answer some questions and do huh. some things but i've never <laughs> had the opportunity as one-on-one so i thought well i'll throw a couple out and see what i get and so my first question was hey what time y'all leaving today because i just broke it to Braden that we were leaving 11 30 or 12 and he wasn't happy about that right and uh and so I said, "Hey, Reese, what time y'all 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 headed out today? Four oh three. Four oh three. Four oh three. I said, Almighty. "What? I said, Reese, that doesn't even make sense." And he said, "Well, that's the last I heard. <laughs> <laughs> Hadn't even talked about it. I don't know where he got that. Four oh three. And so when he delivered there, now you got to understand his hair. He's just got up. His hair's everywhere. He's got a plate and food in yeah. front of him, and he's holding a coffee mug with orange juice in it okay. or water or something. Yeah. I don't know what he's yeah. doing, but it's not yeah. coffee, right?" And so I said, "Hey, uh, you like you got you some coffee? No, I don't do coffee. Don't like coffee. Not, not my thing." And uh, so then I, again, I realized hey, I got gold here. I'm gonna stay with it. So I just sure. start throwing questions out. And I said, "Hey, Reese, let me ask you something." I said, "If uh, next week, let's say you don't have school, you don't have any sports practices, nothing going on, what is the one thing you would choose to do?" Well, that's easy. Panama City. <laughs> In the world. <laughs> That's easy. Like, I ain't got to think about that. that got what, it down. That, you asked him about his girlfriend, too? Yeah, yeah. Um, I said, uh, can I share it there? I guess. I, I, I said, mean, uh, I said, hey, you got your girlfriend? No. Broke up with her. Done with girls for a while. Got to focus. <laughs> got to focus. That's that's that came out from, from his dad. <laughs> he got that from his dad. <laughs> got to focus. He, he he's learned a lot of, of sayings from Speedy. Got, I saw all the weekend. Yeah, didn't he, had, <laughs> they had some, he had some homework, didn't he? He did. He said, I said, you got any homework, anything you need to get back? Is there anything you're dreading when you get back home? I said, you got to do any homework or anything that you missed out on? Yep. 
Got me a paper to write on the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> yep, 250 words. Got to write a letter. You know, it's for the state. For the state. I said, for the, for the state. state. And he said, yep, got a chance to win $1,000. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to worry about it about 930 tonight. And the minute I said, <laughs> why yeah, did you give exactly. me a heads up? Well, I figured you knew he's telling me. But I, here's what's mm-hmm. funny is that the, probably my favorite thing that he did, and this was right after the Pledge of Allegiance, he said, uh, he said, oh, he, somebody's coming in from hunting. And you got to understand, you had quail hunters, deer hunters. They were all coming in at <laughs> different times. Right there he is. Right there he is. That's it. That was the, that was the there moment. Is Speedy, you need to make a poster out of that <laughs> one. That, he is <laughs> that is him. If Look a picture food. catches him, that's it. Shot his breakfast just like he <laughs> likes it. And he's giving somebody the information. Boy, oh, yeah. Good. And so he gets his cup of whatever it is in his coffee mug, and it looks like he's drinking coffee. And so quail hunters come up, and he's never met these guys. Okay, he doesn't. He yeah. thinks it's one of y'all. Yeah, we had a quail hunt bunch come in toward the end, so he doesn't know they've ca- they came in. Right? He see, see, they've gone out to hunt before yeah. he's even woke up, so he doesn't know. And so he walks out there, he thinks it's one of y'all, and he opens up that door, and he's just strutting around with his cup of coffee. And he says, "Well, where's the deer?" <laughs> <laughs> and the quail hunters are like, and they were like, "Uh, we got some quail. Yeah, y'all yeah. know why we call him the boss now." Boy, I'm telling you. You talk about holding It was entertaining. Uh, When uh, JC and I were going out, he's tagged out, whatever. He's playing pool with Caitlin. And I heard as I was coming up the steps, he goes, you know, I hope he gets a deer. He deserves it. (laughs) (laughs) And then then he hits the ball with, you know, like he's playing. Yeah, like he's playing. Delivery. Delivery. One of the other, one of the guides there asked him when he hit, when he tagged out and got his, he said, uh, he said, son, congratulations on your first deer. That's awesome. First buck. He said, Thank you, sir, but that's my fourth. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir, but that's my fourth. Has he killed four bucks? No, no, four deer. Right, right, <laughs> not four bucks.